Today we would like to review with you this year's student and family handbook. First, be sure to follow Mrs. Embley on Twitter for school news updates and just generally what's in the loop of what's going on at Allentown High School. Follow her at Allentown HS. If for any reason there is something you feel the administration should know and you don't feel comfortable directly coming to us, please call us in the emergency tip line. That number is 609-259-7292, extension 1729. Again, this is completely anonymous. Another way you can get in touch with the high school administration and let us know about something going on anonymously is to download the Stop It app. We heavily invite you to please download this app. You simply go to the App Store, type in Stop It, just as you see it on the screen. Once you download it and you open it up, it's going to ask for a school code. Please enter Redbirds, again, just as you see it on the screen. This app will allow you to contact Mrs. Embley, Mrs. Felino, and Mr. Crosby and let them know anonymously, again, anything you feel we should know that you may not feel comfortable coming down. The safety of this school is everyone's responsibility. The teachers, administration, parents, and especially the students. You guys tend to find out what's going on around here before we do. Please let us know, and a Stop It app is a great way to do it. At Allentown High School, we have an honor code. Now, honor code is laid out much more in your handbook itself, but a general overview is we expect you to be honest and to not plagiarize. Now, we do have repercussions if you do plagiarize. We do also stress that, again, we are here to learn. So we'll teach you the mistakes. You know, you will have some consequences, but please understand that once you go into higher education, there is no sort of baby steps. If you get caught cheating, if you get caught plagiarizing, that is it, you're out. So we really kind of hold this high standard of school here through our honor code, and we expect our students to follow it as well, whether you're a virtual student or in person. Now, in high school, attendance matters. Unlike, say, in the middle school where, you know, they kept track, in high school, we actually, by the state, are required to have a certain amount of what we call seat time. That is the amount of days and hours that you need to be here. Now, there's two types of absences here at the high school. We have an excused absence. Now, this is something when it's you know, very serious. There are sort of limited things we consider an excused absence. Uh, this could be you are ill and you've gone to the doctor and you have a medical note, uh, things involving court, uh, you're going for your behind the wheel driver's test, family emergencies, religious holidays, things along those lines. Now, for our juniors and seniors, we do allow up to three college visits per year for your juniors and senior years. Uh, to go visit schools, but this has to be pre-approved by the attendance office. You will also have to bring something back confirming that you were there on those days. Now, most absences will be unexcused. So, for instance, if you are sick and you don't go to the doctor, and I, we understand that most of the time when you're sick, you probably won't. This is why you're allowed so many days of unexcused absences. Uh, please understand, things like vacations, even if it's your whole family, it is still unexcused. So, we talked about seat time prior. This is the certain amount of time that you have to be here. So anytime you have an unexcused absences that exceed over six days during a semester, uh, you will start losing credit. Now, uh, you can read through this whole slide and I'll explain it in more detail, but please understand that any student who exceeds 15 days in any course will have a credit removed regardless of the grade they are in. So even if you have an A, but you've missed it now 16 times, doesn't matter. You lose credit, you do not have enough seat time. Now, these numbers vary depending on what credit the courses are, but again, I'll let you read that there. But please understand, attendance matters, your absences matter, and if you are going to miss school, please do so carefully that you don't cost yourself either having to pay to go to credit completion or possibly losing credit altogether. Now, for a few of you, we will have perfect attendance, and this is pretty much you have not missed school for, except for a few select reasons. Uh, this means either, again, physically being here or on your virtual days being uh, present, uh, face shown, displayed through your camera. Uh, with the exception of a few religious holidays uh, or school trips, if we do have them, uh, everything else will cost you that perfect attendance. 
if a student is absent, the parent needs to call the attendance office to, no to notify uh, Ms. Cadigan and make her aware of why. We will talk about, say, if a student is now absent for any sort of COVID-related or possibly COVID-related, you will need a doctor's note to return. Please bring doctor notes in the originals only, not the copies. We want the actual doctor's note to explain why you were absent for it to be excused. Truancy is basically you, your parents think you're at school and you're not. This will lead to severe consequences. Your consequences for tardiness are being late. Again, I will not read this whole slide to you. You can read it at your own leisure. But please understand that after the third time you're late, you will now start to get demerits and leading to after school detentions and then further consequences from there. Leaving early. If you need to leave early, you need to have a note from a parent or an email sent directly to Ms. Cadigan explaining why you're leaving. Even if you're 18 years old, you need a note or an email sent. Now this is attendance concerning your final exams and midterms. We are still figuring this out, but please understand you can't, if we do have midterm and final exams, you can't just leave when the exam is done. You need to stay for the entire day. Now at Allentown High School, we have a code of conduct, and that is pretty much how we expect you to behave and carry yourself. Now everything here has demerits assigned between one and five. Now, part of our code of conduct is sleeping is not permitted. Please understand, any student who is caught sleeping in class may be sent to the nurse to have their vitals checked. If their vitals come back elevated, they may be sent out for a physical exam and or a drug test. Now, we do have some new changes here at school, as you can imagine, with COVID-related protocol. Again, you please read this at your own leisure, but some of the big things we must stress is students must wear a face mask at all times on school campus. We also, I'm sure you have noticed some of our arrows and signs. We have certain hallways that are one ways. We have certain hallways that uh, you must stay on the left or right side. Please pay attention to the arrows. Uh, please also notice that we do not currently use our lockers. Uh, we have limited use in the bathrooms. You guys are now using a special uh, form on your Chromebooks to ask to go to the bathroom. We also then have shut off the water fountains, but please know that the water filling stations are still open. Now, when it comes to, say, our COVID protocols online, again, there's a lot here. I'm going to ask you to read this again at your own leisure. Uh, but the big thing is that just because you're at home, we expect to be treated like a real day. And so that means we expect you to be logged in to your class on time. Now, we also expect you to be sitting up, paying attention. And again, this is none of this nonsense where, oh, I, I can't show the camera because of whatever nonsense reason. If you do not show yourself on the camera, you will not receive credit for that class that day. You'll be considered absent. Now, earlier we talked about sort of our, our code of conduct and we talked about how certain things have demerits and these are just some examples of our demerits. So, you know, less severe things are, you know, out of bounds, not being where you're supposed to be, that sort of things are two demerits. And then we have our more serious things, you know, our fighting, our disrespect. Now, the new one, and again, we cannot stress this enough, is wearing a face mask. The first time you do it, we'll treat it as a lack of cooperation. You have three demerits, detention, and you will be sent home. For your second offense or any offenses after that, we are now looking at more serious consequences, talk about such as in-school suspension, out-of-school suspension, and being sent home. We consider this defiance. Now, as you start accumulating demerits, we consider points. Uh, you will then have consequences based on the amount of points that you receive. We have 15 points that just laid out here. 30 points, which starts getting more severe, where we'll start having, say, parents uh, and guardians invited in to have a, a meeting with the vice principal. Uh, they'll explain your loss of privileges. And the big one is 50. At 50, you will now then have what we call a principal meeting, where you'll sit down with your vice principal as well as the principal. We will then start looking at sort of severe, more severe consequences. Uh, for seniors, this at 50 points will put graduation in jeopardy. 
cell phones now cell phones may not be used during class we, now traditionally we have had you turn your cell phones in under our current sort of environment we are allowing you to keep your cell phones with you uh, we're asking you to keep them in your backpack or somewhere away now you may take them with you when you go to the bathroom so in case there's an emergency you then do have access you can notify us uh, in case of a lockdown situation where you are but that cell phone should not be out the ringer should be turned off uh, when you're in the classroom Now please understand that you're also responsible what you do with those cell phones. In school you cannot take videos of fights and posting. You will be disciplined for that. Taking pictures of people without their permission, uh, taking pictures of exams, all these sort of things will lead to consequences. It probably should go without saying that we do not allow smoking here of any type. Starting in the near future, we will start having detention again. Now, detention will be held on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 2.15 to 3.15. Please remember, not all towns have late buses. Right now, it's only Millstone. So you may have to figure out your own way home. We will also start in school suspension. This means you will be sent to the ISS room. Uh, you can read through all the details here, but we expect you then to work quietly on your work. Um, no cell phones, no talking, no, no, nothing along those lines, no sleeping. And please know that all work that is assigned to an ISS is due by the end of that day. For our most severe sort of discipline issues, we have out of school suspension. Now, this will usually be one to four days depending on the offense, but we do have even more severe consequences that do lead to sometimes two weeks out. We hope to not have to worry about that this year. We will also have pass restriction. Now this is for people who are continually out, who may be going to the bathroom every single period, every single day, or saying they're going someplace and turn up someplace else. Please know this will lead to you being escorted by security if you want to leave the room and a limited amount of times that you can leave the room in the day. Now, substance abuse is something to take very seriously here. If we believe that you may be under the influence or that you may have, be in possession of something you shouldn't have, uh, we reserve the right to have you searched. That will involve searching your uh, book bags, emptying your pockets, removing shoes, hats, hoods, uh, showing your waistband, showing over wallets. Uh, if we feel you may be under the influence, we may send you out for drug screening or we do have breathalyzers in the office. Again, we hope not to have to use that this year, uh, but it is there. Now this breaks down the consequences. I won't read all of them. You can read it yourself. But please know the more times that you uh, are found in violation of our substance abuse policy, the more severe they get. At Allentown High School, remember that the distribution, transferring, or selling of controlled dangerous substances or possession of an amount large enough to indicate possible intent to distribute will result in serious consequences. At Allentown High School, we do have a random drug testing policy. On the days that we are doing random drug testing, you will be contacted. Mr. Crosby or myself will walk you to the testing location. We will explain the procedure. You will submit a sample. We will make a phone call home to your parents to let them know that you are being tested that day. But we do want you to remember that any refusal will be a violation of our policy and will result in a positive drug test. Remember the purpose of this program is for prevention and not punishment. In fact, some of the consequences for a positive drug test for the first offense, the medical review officer will notify your parent, the testing agency will notify us, we will then contact your parents, have them come in for a conference, you will have to go for a medical exam, and at that, ca that conference we will talk to you and your parents about consequences going forward, if we get another non-negative, and you will be required to have five counseling sessions with our student assistance counselor. Remember the consequences will increase with each new offense. 
at our school, we have a zero tolerance for any weapons of any kind. Any object which can be used to injure another person and which has no school-related purpose for being in or on school grounds will be considered a weapon, penalties are serious, and police will be contacted immediately. Harassment, intimidation, and bullying is not allowed at all. Remember, harassment, intimidation, or bullying means any gesture, written, verbal, physical, or electronic, that takes place on school property or at any school-sponsored function, or on a school bus that has the effect of harming a pupil or damaging that pupil's property, or placing the pupil in reasonable fear of harm to themselves or their property. Violence of any kind is not acceptable at the high school. Even one incident of any assault or fight could result in meeting with the superintendent and a possible out of district placement. We will not tolerate this in our school. Dress code, remember you are expected to dress appropriately. Any student who deviates from that will be called down to the office, you will be asked to change, or you will be sent home. Student driving, anybody who possesses a graduated driver's license is permitted to drive with only one other person in the car. The New Jersey State Police do conduct GDL checks from time to time, so please make sure you are in compliance with this law. Remember that when you're driving, you are representing Allentown High School. We often have citizens come into the school and report unsafe driving. If that is the case, school and legal consequences may result. Please remember to drive carefully, observe all posted speed limits, and remember, never pass a school bus with flashing lights. Remember that parking in the senior parking lot is for seniors only. All cars must be registered with the school and you will be given an assigned spot. Check page 51 of the handbook for further instructions on registration. Remember you must park in your assigned space and you must pull head in. Remember you are not allowed to go to your car during the school day without administrative approval and you may not display inappropriate or offensive items within or on your vehicle. At this time, juniors may register to park at Byron Johnson. Remember, this is a privilege, can be taken away if all rules and regulations are not followed exactly. If the cars are being driven too fast or in a reckless manner, Byron Johnson may take away our ability to use their parking lot, so please remember to follow all rules. At Allentown High School, we have a grading policy which allows a student who may have failed the first marking period to still pull a passing grade out for that particular class. If you did fail the first marking period, if you earn a grade of a 73 or better for the second marking period, we will bump up your first marking period grade to a 57 allowing you to mathematically pass the class. Remember that if it's a full year course, that if you fail three marking periods, you will not be eligible to sit for that final exam. Seniors, you do have a final exam exemption policy to look forward to. Um, if you've received an A minus average for the course, and remember if a midterm is given, that midterm grade with your marking period grades has to work out to an overall grade of an A minus, which is a 90 or higher, then you are eligible for the exemption. And remember, you can use that exemption for any class in which you meet that criteria. But remember that the exemption does not include the completion of any final projects. Progress reports and report cards should be monitored at all times. Remember, report cards are available in real time approximately two to three weeks after the end of each marking period. Late buses, just want to remind you that Millstone will have a late bus, one that runs at 4.30 and one that runs at 5.45. The buses will drop off at both the Millstone Middle School and the primary school in Millstone. You should be out at the dock area by Senior Atrium for that late bus. 
students may stay after school if you have an academic, athletic, or discipline obligation only. You are not allowed to stay after school for social reasons, and you are absolutely not allowed in any gym after school unsupervised. Remember to follow these rules. As far as food and drink in the building, please remember you should only be eating in the cafeteria or outdoor picnic areas and absolutely no ordering of outside food is allowed during school hours. We take fire and security drills very seriously here. They will occur throughout the school year. We will have evacuation drills, intruder in the building drills, active shooter drills. They are all mandatory as, as per state regulations. Students are to remain with their teacher at all times during any emergency or drill. You will report to the field that you are directed to by your teacher. Teachers will line up on all fields in alphabetical order. If an evacuation alarm rings during a class change, please proceed to the field and meet your next block teacher outside. If the alarm happens to ring during lunch, please meet your third block teacher out on the football field. Remember not to abuse email or internet privileges here, okay? Abuses of internet and email access such as harassment, illegal activity, or any other inappropriate computer use will incur administrative action and could include police notification and or ex a suspension. If the internet abuse happens off school grounds but affects the school environment, remember the administration has the legal obligation to take disciplinary action. Please do not play games on our system. It is not permitted. Students do have the right to appeal anything that they feel has been a violation or an incorrect application of any of the rules that we've talked about today. You have two days to appeal any detention, in-school suspension, or similar penalty. The appeal forms can be found in guidance. Please make sure that you and your parents both sign off on the form and then the completed forms should be given to either myself or Mr. Crosby. We will then give the appeal form to Mrs. Embley and she will make the final decision on your appeal. You are also reminded that you are held accountable for any borrowed school property until those items are returned. Remember, this includes all your uniforms, your textbook, your library materials. If you do not remember to turn in those things, you will receive demerits and fines will be issued. Remember that participation in athletics and any other extracurricular activities is a privilege. It is not a right. Academics must be your main focus while you're here. Failure to maintain adequate grades will result in the loss of those privileges. Also remember that detentions cannot be changed even if it falls on the day of a game or an activity. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this. We hope that you have a successful, rewarding school year. Remember that if we can be of any assistance to you this year, please feel free to stop down and ask for our help or advice. Don't forget to now fill out the Google form that was attached to this email and make sure that that is all submitted by September 18th. Thanks for your help with this.